today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to change the cleaning head module or clean it um, or clean the cleaning head module by replacing it or cleaning it. So, now hold on, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very simple. Many people think it might be hard, but seriously, it's really easy. Okay, since they upgraded since the 400 series to the 500 series to the 600 series to the 700 series, they did a lot of improvements. Okay, I'm just saying they did a lot of improvements. So, first thing that you want to do, turn off your Roomba completely. So what you do is you hold down the clean button for until it goes out. Just like that. Then turn your Roomba over. Turn your Roomba over. Okay. So once it's turned over, remove the dustbin. Actually, before you turn it over, remove the dustbin. There's a little button here. You press in. You press it in, and you release, and it releases out. Next, turn your Roomba over. This goes for the 500 series, the 600 series, to the 700 series. Okay, next thing we want to do is remove Roomba's brushes. Remove the brushes. Oops, the brush cage gets came off, but you're going to need that to be put up back on. Let's put the brush cage back on. I'm just going to remove the brushes. You don't really have to, but I just do it. Okay, first thing, which you, second second thing is to, you need a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure the tip is very small because I don't want it to be too big because if it's too big, it will um, get out. So the second thing, second thing you want to do is remove your front wheel module. Next thing you need to do is remove the side brush. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky because I'm using an iPod. So I'm going to set it down somehow. Oh, this is going to work, but anyways, I'll try and maybe do it with one hand. Probably not going to work, but maybe. No, okay. Uh, oh well. So maybe I can actually, possibly, maybe I can actually up against here. Okay, so. Second thing you want to do is remove your side brush. Now to do it is you press down on the side brush firmly, and then you're gonna loosen the screw up, and it should just pop out, just like that. Next thing what you want to do is remove the um, five screws. Oh wait, the four screws here, 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 and here. Okay, so I'm gonna loosen up these screws here. All right, and it should just come loose. It takes a while, folks, for these screws to come out, but eventually they will come out. There we go. Now you can put your side plate aside, front plate, and the front front plate should just remove with these. The second thing we want to do now, and here comes the front part. We got the front plates removed. Then we remove the battery so we don't get shocked. Just lifts out with the two tabs here. Put that to the side here now. Now we're gonna have to deal with the Four screws, yeah, there's four screws that um, loosen up, the, that you can loosen up to remove the brush, br uh, brush module thing, brush head module. So once you loosen up the screws, try and loosen as fast as possible. By the way, you can get these spare parts at irobot.com or Amazon or eBay. I would go to iRobot.com because their things are new. eBay and Amazon are kind of things that are left over. So I would get this straight from iRobot.com. And, and also folks, 
I would also get the upgraded gray cleaning module that it's sealed. This is the upgraded module. Now, now if you're going to clean it, set your Roomba aside. Actually, no, you put it there. You're actually going to do this. Okay, so if you're going to replace the side wheel, the, the brush module, give the front down here a little brushing with the paintbrush. Just brush it down. Also brush any other access as well. So you also want to clean it up a little bit as well. Now, you can also, if you're, if you're just cleaning your module, you can just open it up here. should be able just to open it up. should just be able to open up just like this. All right, and you can brush down the cage as well, and also the insides of the... Cleaning head module and also the other sides. So once you got it clean, or when you got your new one, pop in the. That's got to pop in this thing. Now, take your Roomba, take your disassembled Roomba, and slide it in. And then you gotta loose, uh, tighten these screws back. You might want not want to over tighten because well you could you could just tighten them just enough so you can get so the side brush so the module is in place. Hold on, folks. I can't get the screw to tighten, but this one tightened. Alright, that one's in there. Alright, they're all in. Now we take our battery. Listen for the, uh, listen for the, listen, when, whenever, whenever the battery's reset, or when you put in the battery, it's, it's gonna immediately do the reset tone, so listen. Just like that. So that means your Roomba is like, She's happy and she's ready for it to clean or charge. But by the way, folks, if your Roomba is fully charged and you're going to remove the battery, you still need to charge it because you just reset your Roomba, so it's going to go into its reset mode. My battery, my Roomba's battery isn't fully charged just yet. So, yeah. Then we will tighten up these four screws back on. And sliding on the plate here is very easy. You slide on and then... Tighten up the screws. Okay. Alright, once you got them tightened in, you can take your side brush now. Also, cl clean out any hair and stuck in it as well. Just pop in your side brush now. Let's see if I can get the screw in there. Getting the screw in the side brush is a little tricky, folks, so be patient when you do this. And you careful not that you don't bend the screw down because it I it was crooked when I um tried to put it in, so that's why um had to be trouble and this and putting the screw in is also tricky. So got it in there. And if you got a magnet screwdriver, it's even magnetic screwdriver, it might be even harder. It's gonna come out on you. Okay, it's in there. Now we take our front wheel module. That pops in there. Then we open up our brush cage here. Our brush module. Oopsie daisy. Oops. That always happens. Sometimes whenever I Try to open the brush cage so the whole cage thing comes out. So, um, I would also clean Roomba's brushes. I did that before. Just pop in the brushes. Now, these are tricky to pop in. So, if you, if you can, try to move the holes so you can get them straight. So you can pop it in easy. Just like that. It's straight. I'm going to move that so it's the little thing that holds it is straight. Just... Okay, can't see what I'm doing here, so it's going to be a little tricky, okay. It's in there. 
close up my Roomba. Take my dustbin. Slide this in. Basically, this is just I'm just saying, folks. This is my own Roomba. I got it for my birthday. It's my own. Then, for the moment of truth. works it's like a charm so that's basically how to change your uh we um brush module bye move Roomba to a new location. i know then press queen to restart yeah. move Roomba ah. to a new location then press queen to restart yeah whatever bye folks bye